At the far end of our solar system, Pluto is surrounded by many cold celestial bodies and space rocks in the Kuiper Belt, a large area beyond Neptune. When Pluto became the ninth planet, it took its name from the Roman god of the underworld. However, in 2006 Pluto saw a major regrouping of planetary power, reflecting a growing awareness of our wider universe. Current interest in our solar system reveals a wide variety of celestial bodies, including space rocks, asteroids and eight planets. Throughout human history, our understanding of these physical bodies has increased, with deeper insights into their structure and behavior, painting a different picture of our environment. Galactic even as our knowledge increases, our world is still a wonder to explore and discover. The James Webb Space Telescope, the pinnacle of modern astronomical progress, is poised to unravel some of these pending mysteries, including those about Pluto. Despite its small size and unusual appearance, Pluto holds a special place in the hearts of many. The classification in 2006 caused a strong public reaction and showed the deep human connection to this distant body. To be considered a planet, an object must meet three main criteria, orbit the sun, have enough mass to form a circle due to gravity, and be free of debris. Unfortunately, Pluto, with its erratic orbit, does not meet these standards. The word planet has had many interesting developments throughout the history of the universe. At first, all the major celestial bodies were visible in the sky, including the moons and asteroids. The discovery of Pluto in the 1930s by American astronomer Clyde Tomba sent the world into a frenzy, but subsequent discoveries of objects of similar size in the region caused the world to panic. Of particular concern is Professor Mike Brown's landmark discovery of Eris, a Pluto-sized Kuiper belt object. This discovery challenged the traditional definition of a planet, and Pluto was eventually designated as a dwarf planet at the 2006 International Astronomical Union IAU, meeting in Prague. A better view of the celestial body Eris, previously known as 2003 UB313 and named Xena, named after the Greek goddess of controversy, highlights the controversy over its classification. Mike Brown, whose work helped restore Pluto, earned him the nickname, Pluto Killer, on social media. Pluto's classification led to changes in teaching materials to reflect its new status as a dwarf planet. However, not all members of the scientific community welcomed the IAU's explanation. Some scientists in the world, especially those who are interested in Pluto and the like, expressed concern about the new criteria, which led to a scientific debate. And the implications of naming ancient astronomical terms. Despite these arguments, scientific research continued. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made a famous flyby of Pluto, providing unprecedented views of the distant planet. The mission revealed a powerful planet with features such as ice fields and a heart-shaped space that captured the imagination of the public. When we consider these developments, it becomes clear that our knowledge of the solar system is constantly growing, because the name Pluto is an important symbol in our continued exploration of the universe. Capture images of Pluto's closest approach as New Horizons zips through space at 32,300 miles per hour. However, due to the flight of the spacecraft and the position of the Sun, the so-called dark side side of Pluto remained hidden. In order to understand this mysterious place, the researchers carefully examined the photos taken before the crash. Despite the challenges of the limited space of these images, the information is valuable and allows scientists to see surface features from kilometers away. This level of resolution is higher than previous observations from the Hubble Space Telescope. Analysis of these images has provided new insights into Pluto's dynamic nature, revealing features such as a subsurface ocean and surface processes. Recent discoveries, such as the presence of ammonia on Pluto's surface and amazing ice formations, continue to show the complexity of this distant planet. Richard Binzel, a cosmologist involved in the New Horizons project, calls Pluto the gift that keeps on giving because it continues to amaze scientists. Before the New Horizons project, the most detailed images of Pluto taken by the Hubble Space Telescope revealed the planet and its surface features. 
Still, New Horizons offers the necessary close-ups, including the impressive heart-shaped region and giant icy plain Sputnik Planitia. The discovery of Sputnik Planitia's unusual arrangement near Pluto's largest moon, Charon, has sparked interest in its creation. Some scientists suspect that the subsurface ocean influenced surface conditions. The presence of ammonia in the ice covering Sputnik Planitia indicates underground activity, indicating a dynamic and changing universe. As scientists continue to explore the data collected by New Horizons, they will discover more about Pluto's complex and evolving nature and expand opportunities for future research. The types of terrain on the far side of Pluto, including slopes, valleys and plains, are similar to features found on other planets and planets. The deep sea although much of Pluto's orbit is still unclear, scientists look forward to future missions to take a closer look. The irregularities found on the surface of the fuel provide information about Pluto's history and the location of subsurface oceans. These findings challenge interpretations of space and emphasize the dynamics of distant planets such as Pluto. As New Horizons continues its mission, scientists speculate about the long-term fate of Pluto. Radioactive decay in the core can produce enough heat to damage the surface, causing wrinkles or fractures similar to those seen on Earth. But when New Horizons took pictures of the other side of Pluto, instead of broad strokes, cracks were found that indicate Pluto's surface has dried over time. There is a large rift in the vicinity of Pluto similar to Earth's East African rift system, which may have resulted from the freezing and expansion of the subsurface ocean. According to the age of the eruption, the ocean cooled rapidly after reaching the surface, which may have created favorable conditions for the growth of life. In addition, the red color of Pluto's surface, indicating carbon particles, indicates the presence of complex carbon compounds. Laboratory experiments have shown that such particles can be created by radiation, such as the solar wind or atmospheric radiation, pointing to a possible habitable condition on Pluto. The discovery of ammonia-bound ice near Pluto supports the idea that the dwarf world still contains some organic compounds. Although this is not life-saving, it is an indication that it can support life if the conditions are right. Like meta-ice, these formations are scattered around the equator with great mystery. Concepts range from air conditioning to solar energy capture. Understanding the environment and the cold climate of Pluto requires a careful study of its atmospheric conditions. Researchers are refining weather models to better reproduce the observed anomalies and trying to recreate Pluto's atmosphere and surface conditions in a laboratory environment. Although the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, can't take high-resolution images of Pluto, its ability to collect and analyze infrared light has made it possible to make additional observations. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Pluto, humanity's insatiable thirst for knowledge keeps us moving forward. JWST represents a new era of space exploration, with advanced technology to study distant celestial bodies. Its ability to capture infrared light is essential for observing very faint or distant objects that cannot be seen in visible light, allowing scientists to study the early universe, the formation of stars and creation of the planet in the past. JWST's observations of the planet's atmospheres have provided important insights into their habitats, identifying atmospheric components such as water vapor and methane. One of the most exciting things about JWST is its ability to study the properties of stars, such as Oumuamua, a mysterious extraterrestrial visitor discovered in 2017. JWST's capabilities are expected to provide further insight into interstellar properties and provide important clues about planetary systems beyond our own. Pluto remains at the center of scientific observation as the representative of the Kuiper Belt. Data from the New Horizons mission revealed a lot of information about Pluto's surface and surface conditions. JWST observations can expand on these findings by providing additional data on the composition and dynamics of Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects. Understanding these distant worlds is important in piecing together the history of the solar system and the formation of other planetary systems in the galaxy. As JWST continues its mission, it is poised to serve as a groundbreaking mission to advance our understanding of the universe. 
From studying the first galaxies to probing planetary winds and interstellar visitors, JWST will play an important role in astronomy. As a result, JWST is at the forefront of astronomy, unlocking new mysteries and deepening our understanding of the universe, paving the way for future discoveries and expanding boundaries of human knowledge.